Hi everyone, this is Jundi and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I did a commentary video and I wanted to try and make it a regular thing because I want my videos to be more engaging with you. So for this video, I want to share some tips on how to grow your Instagram page. Please know that this is just based on my own experience. Everyone starts off differently and gain recognitions differently as well. But if you want to hear some advice from me, then please keep on watching. And I will be painting a crossover between Among Us and Attack on Titans. So the first advice is to observe what type of artworks get recognition. I've noticed that on Instagram, people are more drawn to simplicity. Don't get me wrong, full-on illustrations can also give you good exposure. But if you want to grow a following quicker, stepping it down to, let's say, a stylized portrait can help. Doing this style reduced workload, but it increased your activity. I see a lot of beautiful illustrations from my peers who did not get the recognitions they deserve. And I always wonder why, but it all depends on the algorithm of the platform, as well as the demographic and preferences. Whereas platforms like DeviantArt, if I pronounce it right, are more attracted to semi-realism in cinematic scenes. These are just based on my own observations though. The next advice is to use hashtags. I suggest make use of related hashtags. This helps your post get spread to more people who are interested in these types of things on their feed. In turn, it helps you gain new audience and so forth. I recommend using around a maximum of 10 hashtags. You want to use hashtags that are the main category of your art. Personally, I don't like to use more than 10 hashtags because it makes my post look a little bit too crowded. Either way, using a hashtag is a great way for people who are freshly starting out that want their posts to reach more people. The third advice is to take part on trends. Usually trends can make an artist go viral based on the popularity of that trend. I took part on this trend called Draw This In Your Style. I'm sure you heard about it many times before. On my feed, I saw so many artists do these and I thought it was fun so I hopped on the bandwagons too. Um, my heater just turned on so I apologize if there is a loud background noise. But I'm just gonna continue recording. Um, where was I? Oh wait, it, <laughs> my heater just turned off. This became one of my first posts that got over 20k likes. I didn't expect to get this type of response and engagement because I joined simply because it looks fun. And so I did a few more of them after. And this helped grow my followings quite a lot. This trend can be mutually beneficial because you share other people's artwork in which they can gain audience. Sharing helps Instagram alg algorithm <laughs> because it makes Instagram think that a post has good engagement. This will help make the post make it to the explore page, which can help boost your accounts tremendously. Meanwhile, the artist helps popularize your character, making your name more known too, whichever end you participate in. There are also plenty of other trends besides this one that, can, that you can participate in. Just be active and you will notice the latest trend. The next advice is to be engaging. Simply replying to your audience makes them see you more as a person. People like to get a response. Plus, it helps create some connections and friendships. Simply liking a comment can be good enough because let's be real, once you start getting a lot of comments, it can be hard to reply to everyone. After all, you are just one person. But as long as you try your best to engage, you can develop some friendship. I am grateful to all the artists who shared my post through their stories. It helps me gain new audience, and so you want to do the same for them in return too. It's all about showing support to one another. The next advice is to share your skills. People love to look at helpful art tips no matter how simple it can be. Just make sure your explanations are clear and concise. Instagram allows you to upload 10 pictures in one post. So use this feature to your advantage and share some tips. You don't have to be a professional artist to do so. A tutorial on how you paint hair in your own style can help too. Many people love to see processes and steps on how you achieve your artwork. The next advice is to have a simple username. Long usernames can be hard to remember. This will essentially be your brand that people will recall you from. You can use a shortened version of your name or if you don't want people to know your name, try to make up a unique name. The spelling can play a role in making your name look fancier too. 
My username, Jundi, is not unique per se, but I think the spelling of it make it different. Originally, my Instagram went by Jenny Jundi, and I shortened it to Jundi with the added letter Y. This makes it short and easy to type. And since I am the only one or within a selected few with that spelling, it makes it easier for my page to pop up within the first search. You do not want to be known as Rainbow Cupcakes 103. Like, imagine putting that in a resume. The name is too long and random. Plus, your username will essentially become your brand that many people will recognize you from. So try to take it seriously. The seventh advice is to do fan arts. Painting fan arts can help grow your accounts quickly. Many of these characters from movies and games already have existing fan base that you can market to. People love to see variations of their favorite characters or games get depicted in other art style. Sadly, that is the truth that doing fan arts give you more exposure than doing originals unless you already have an established fan base. So if you're starting out and you've noticed that you haven't been growing your accounts by doing originals, it is probably because your art isn't getting enough exposure for many people. That's why if you want to grow your audience quickly, just try to paint some fan arts. That doesn't mean for you to completely abandon your originals. Just slowly try to introduce your originals to the new audience so that they become more familiar with them. The last advice is another basic one. Post regularly. You want to maintain activity. People love to see fresh posts now and then. Try to at least post twice weekly if you can. I used to post three times a week, but because of my schedule now, I can't do it anymore. However, I still maintain regular posts. There is a story feature. Some people really abuse this and post way too many stories every day, which can get quite annoying. That's why you want to at least post 2-5 to five stories every couple of days, if you do not want to make a post that can clog your page. What I like to do is post my whips through my stories as well as share some of my favorite foods and stuff. I share snippets of my next piece without spoiling it too much. I ask my audience what's your favorite food? Have you tried this or that? Or guess who I'm drawing right now? All of these help to drive up engagement, which can help push up your account and make you reach more people. And that's all the advice I can think about right now. I hope that this video was pretty helpful to you and thank you for watching. Have a lovely night and take care. The rest of this video will just be me finishing up this piece. You can stay and watch it till the end if you like.